What's up guys, this is Kim from Einfach Machen. In this video I'd like to share with you a straightforward solution for photo documentation. The solution is available on GitHub, you can download it. I put a link in the description and there's also a step-by-step -step guide how you can implement this solution. So stay tuned. First of all, let's have a look on the current process. So the company is in the construction business and there's a need for a photo documentation. For example, if there are defects, like in this example, there was a water damage, or if there is work completed, they need to document this and send this, for example, to an architect or something like that. So the field service worker takes a photo and then sends the photo. And this is where the challenges start and they send it via different channels. So the one sends it via email, the other uses a messenger, the next one uses Teams. And then there's the project manager who received these photos and has to rename them, who has assigned the project to it, who has to upload it to a SharePoint document library. And after that, the process is finished. So it's a quite short process, but there's some manual work for the project manager, which we thought could cut out leveraging Power Apps and Power Automate. So the main challenges of the process are that there are many channels and little structure in capturing these photos. There's no project assignment and the maintenance of metadata must be done manually by the project manager and also storing filing um, is also manual because there are different channels from which they receive these photos. So what we've developed together with the field service as a pretty straightforward solution, I think. So the starting point is still the same. There's a need for photo documentation. So the user, the field service opens a power app called photo documentation, selects a project and then takes the photos or uses his camera roll with photos he already had taken and then sends the photos to a specific email inbox, for example, photo at mycompany.com. And on this email inbox, there's a flow that gets triggered and uh, we send the photos and in the body, there's a small JSON where we put some metadata in so that the flow can pass this JSON and process this photo and also uploads the photo together with some metadata to SharePoint so that all this manual work that the product manager has to do is now done by our flow. So we achieved the first challenge by using one channel with a power app. We do not need any manual work from the project manager because the project is assigned by the field service and all the other metadata gets passed by our flow and also the storing process is done by Power Automate. But now let's have a look on how this solution looks on my mobile phone and how it looks on SharePoint. So this is basically our app. We have a project which we can choose and tap on next and now we can choose whether we want to take a photo or use a photo from our gallery. Uh, I'm start taking a photo so I can use my back camera and my front camera or we'll take a photo from my guitar from my heating element and some other photos. Press the button send photos. Now the photos get sent to an inbox and uh, after a while they are stored in the document library in SharePoint and we will have a look on this right now. So this is basically what it looks like in Outlook. We have these 10 photos I've taken and you can see there's a small JSON in our body and this JSON is used to fill our metadata in the document library later. So we will now have a look on the Power Automate flow which gets triggered when I get an email into my inbox. As you can see, the flow has already run successfully. We will have a look on this right now. Close also pretty straightforward. When an email gets received, the flow gets triggered and now the HTML text is just converted into a plain text. So I've got these JSON as an output and now I'm going to analyze this JSON and this is the point where you can edit this and put more metadata in this. And after that, 10 files get created with for each loop. And after that, the properties of the different photos get updated with the project. We can see it here, the project name. And this is what it's like in SharePoint. So we've got our 10 photos here. We've got the project assigned 
and we could also create now other columns and add more metadata into our power app so that's up to you photo documentation is often an issue for our customers in the construction business and this is a pretty simple solution which worked pretty well for our customers so i wanted to share it with you the links for the github download and also a step-by-step -step guide for setting this up are in the description uh, i hope this one is helpful for you and gives a good example of how you can leverage the Power Platform with little, little effort. So thank you for watching and see you next time.